right, the food truck business, food truck general regulations, part one. And there are a ton. My last bullet point says consult your local municipality. So I'm going to start with that, too. Always consult your local municipality. Yes, I am the expert. Yes, I am a consultant. Um, but there are thousands of counties, all with slightly different variations. Uh, the majority are the same. They follow all NADAM stuff, 15% 15, 15 larger grade water than uh, uh, fresh water, you know, non-porous surfaces, three compartments sink, hand wash sink, fan hood over cook items, fire suppression, blah, 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 blah. And we'll cover all of that. But nonetheless, California is a little bit different than Washington State. Um, you know, with Washington State having L and I standards. So anyway, consult your local municipalities. On to the good stuff. Go to foreverfoodtrucks.com for full video series with downloadable PDFs. Uh, you get all of this. This is a great video, and there's tons of great video, over a dozen plus, I think nearly two dozen uh, videos that just go into great stuff about, about the food truck business. So make sure you um, check it out, foreverfoodtrucks.com. All right, let's jump into it. So one thing a lot of places and a lot of municipalities are going to want are floor plans. Makes sense, right? Especially if you're in Washington State, they're going to want, with the L&I standards, they're going to want floor plans. They're going to want top view, side view, uh, you know, gas pipe view, um, electrical. I don't, well, did they, I can't remember if they wanted electrical, but they wanted gas. I, mean, I think we sent electrical, but they wanted gas. They wanted uh, top view, side views, you name it. Um, and I think I have that right in here. You know, they want top view, side view. And anytime we work, I always make sure you get a top view, side view, um, rear view. Uh, so you get, get it all the way covered, especially if you're going to have graphics on it and um, to know where doors are, windows are, spacing, that whole type of thing. So gas lines I said that some states want gas line water. So water, uh, they may not want the floor plan for the water, uh, but they're going to require certain uh, things with the water. They're going to want a 15% larger fresh water than gray water, which means you'll, they never, this is the thing, they never want you to back your gray water back into your sinks. Okay, that's the whole thing. So if you have a 35 gallon fresh water and a 50 gallon gray water, um, they know that you'll never back your uh, gray water back into your sink so you never be like nasty water coming out of your sinks or something like that or uh because you can't you know when your fresh water tank is empty you know you need to dump your your black your gray water black water if you have a bathroom um but you need to dump your gray water um and it'll keep that kind of from from happening so they want you to have hot water over 100 degrees most municipalities want you to do this so uh, for sanitation reasons, uh, hence your three compartment sink, you can clean your dishes with hot water. I always add a cap full of bleach. Uh, so, uh, and that's just me and I do that at home too. I add bleach. I have my wife add bleach to everything. She does it anyway. You have guests over, you have germs. We clean our bathroom with bleach. We mop our floors with bleach. We wash the dishes with bleach. You can say we're germaphobes. I think we're realist. Uh, we're, we're, you know, we're, you know, we believe that uh, there's a higher power. There's God, Jesus looking over us and keeping us safe, but uh, we still like a cap full of bleach. I think God tells us to use wisdom as well. So um, we, we use that three compartment sink and hand wash sink, which is the next slide. Nine by nine by five um, is normally required. Uh, three compartment sink, you have your, you know, sanitation sink, your holding sink, um, your basically for all your dishes, so forth. And then, of course, your hand wash sink. My mother growing up, she would never let me wash my hands in the kitchen. It was taboo. Even to this day, I'm a grown man, and I'm still scared to wash. And I own the house, and I'm scared to wash my hands in the kitchen uh, in the kitchen sink. Um, but so you have to have a separate hand wash sink, and that's normally with most municipalities as well. Let's talk a little bit about licenses. All right. A lot of places you're going to be required to have a food handler's um, license for employees and whoever's running the jank, uh, have a food manager's license. So, uh, you're going to want to, and they're, they're normally pretty easy. Uh, you can, um, apply normally online. You can go do the course online. I think you can take tests online. It's normally like 65 bucks, under hundred bucks, uh, in a lot of places and probably most places I'm here in Texas and I think it's 65 bucks right now, um, as we're recording this. So, um, something to keep in mind water testing so the way they do it here in texas is you get to water test your own water 
Um, and then you just bring them the results, um, which is cool. You can do it at your leisure. But once again, consult your local municipality. Uh, call the health department. Tell them and ask them, hey, what do you want? Don't tell them uh, anything. Uh, they they don't like that. But ask them what they what they uh, require of you, and they can give you um, this list in, in further detail. Okay, share this video with your friends. Time to read off um, here. Download your free Forever Success in Food Trucks guide, downloadable from foreverfoodtrucks.com. It is a comprehensive guide explaining startup costs, average income, setting margins, investing money, branding, wealth generation, training staff, and more. Whether you've had a food truck for 20 years or are considering getting into the food truck business, you do not want to miss out on this powerful resource. And for those who want to go even deeper, go to teachable.com and check out the online courses. They're great, actually. It will teach you how to make 20 times the profits, how to 20 extra income and grow 20 times faster. It is an advanced look at the food truck business, profits, and how to show success. Either way, be sure to grab your free, absolutely free, free, E-E-E, free, forever success in food truck guide at foreverfoodtrucks.com.